In this video, I'm going to be starting a new kind of series that I've been meaning to do for about a year and a half now. I'm going to be extracting caffeine from coffee and other sources from different companies to see what I can get from them. Extractions and recrystallizations have always been a passion of mine since I have enjoyed learning chemistry, so naturally I want to extract it from as many sources as possible to add to my collection. The first company I'm going after is McDonald's, which boasts it has about 180 milligrams of caffeine within its 21 ounces of coffee. The first thing I need to do is go to McDonald's and get a coffee, so that's exactly what I did. Once we had the coffee, I poured all of it into a container so I could see what I was working with. Following this, I added about 1 gram of sodium carbonate in and stirred it really well to make sure it was all dissolved. This deprotonates the phenolic group within the tannins, making them more soluble in water and less soluble in DCM, which I'll be using in our next step. The tannins can be why caffeine extracted from natural sources can be tinted brown if they are left behind or the caffeine is impurified after the extraction. From here, I wrap the container in plastic and put it in the fridge for it to reach 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This will allow the caffeine to become less soluble in the water without falling out of solution. Once chilled, I will add all my coffee into a 1 liter separatory funnel. In this stage, I will be using DCM or methylene chloride to extract the caffeine from the coffee. This is also known as a liquid to liquid extraction. The caffeine will favor the DCM to water and it will get pulled into it. We can see that when I add the DCM it all sinks to the bottom and this is because DCM and water do not mix and the DCM is heavier than the water is. I will do this 5 separate washes in which I will add 20 milliliters of DCM followed by capping, shaking, and continuously venting my funnel. This is extremely important because there will be a lot of gas building up. So every few shakes I vent the bottom of the funnel to release this pressure. The caffeine is more soluble in DCM than water so the caffeine will prefer the DCM. This is what's happening when the DCM is being shaken through the water. Some tannins also get brought along with this and it discolors the DCM to a yellowish color. After my final washing, I drain everything into a waste container to deal with later. Once I clean my separatory funnel, I pour all of the DCM back in, which is naturally cloudy because of impurities. Following this, I add some extremely cold and super saturated salt water. This will help to further dry the DCM from any water or other impurities within it. Instantly, it starts to clear up when I add the super saturated salt water. I cap, shake, and vent my funnel just like before, and afterwards we can really just see how much it cleaned up. I drain my DCM into a flask filled with molecular sieves, and honestly, I used too many sieves and it sucked up about 30% of my DCM. These sieves are meant to dry the DCM further from any water that remains, however it was clear to me that too many sieves was an issue. This was really an amateur mistake, but I decided to continue with the project and either redo it or just adjust my results up by 30%. I dispose of any of the leftover solution and filter off my DCM into a beaker. After this, we just have to boil away any DCM at a low temperature to leave behind the caffeine. DCM boils at 103 degrees, so it really isn't hard to do this. Alternatively, I could have distilled off the DCM, but with such a small amount of caffeine, I would risk sublimating the caffeine in the process. Afterwards, I have some pretty nice caffeine in the speaker, but I have to recrystallize it, and I needed additional ethanol. Luckily, a few months back, I did a project that involved extracting piperine from black pepper, so I had some extra ethanol that around that I needed to distill off. After about two and a half hours and two distillations, I have ethanol that I'm pleased with. From here, we need to dissolve all of the caffeine in ethanol. A good tip to remember is to heat everything up in order to get it to dissolve. Next, I put my ethanol in a test tube and let it cool to room temperature before adding it into an ice bath for about 30 minutes. This entire process takes 45 minutes in total and after you pull it out, you should have some nice caffeine crystals forming. After this, we need to filter off the ethanol and any extracted caffeine should be left. Honestly though, I will have to redo this project because of my mistake. 
though I did extract about 55 milligrams of caffeine from this coffee, which even with 30% more, I would only get about 72 milligrams out of the supposed 180, which is only about 40% theoretical yield, which is terrible. I have a plan though for how I will do this in the future which should be much more efficient. Until next time though, I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreons for always being there to support my videos and all of my projects so I can continue to do what I love. And these are their names, and thank you again.